today. In this very short video, we, and by that I mean you and me, are going to take a deep dive into a subject that I know you care very much about. And that subject is me. So in this video, I will bare my soul in a very deep and personal way and with vivid detail as to why I do not and probably never will have a ham radio license. And I pray to Zenu that by bearing my soul to you and the entire world this way, that this will finally, finally make all of these random ham people stop trying to recruit me into their cult. I swear to Xenu, they must get bonus points or something every time they sign up a new recruit. Apparently it comes as quite a surprise to some people when they learn that I in fact do not have a ham radio operator's license. I do have a GMRS license and I do operate under an FCC business license that allows me to transmit on certain other frequencies, but those are both very different from a ham license. And when some people learn that I do not have a ham license, it seems that they descend upon me like drunken Amway salesmen and say things like, but you love experimenting with radio equipment. You should get a ham license. And this is true. I do love playing with my GMRS radios and other radio toys, but newsflash, you do not need a ham radio operator's license to do that. But you do reviews of ham radios. You need a ham radio license. Actually, I do not do reviews of ham radios. I do reviews of GMRS radios. I have made several videos about how to use the Boofwang UV5R radio, but neither the FCC nor YouTube require a license to read the Boofwang UV5R manual and then talk about it on YouTube. But you make videos about tuning antennas and making radios transmit further, and without a license, you're not qualified to talk about that. Seriously, allow me to point out something to the many people that have actually said that. Anybody that seriously thinks that you need a license to understand how radios or antennas work, and more so to anyone that actually says that out loud where other people can read it or hear it. Anyone who really thinks this is, allow me to just say it and listen very closely. Are you listening very closely? Anyone who says this is a fucking moron. And of course, my favorite mentioned many, many, many times by people with very eager excitement as they type it out in YouTube comments or on Facebook or Twitter. With a ham license, you can use much more power and make contacts thousands of miles away. If I want to make contacts with strangers, I'll just use my Grinder app. Otherwise, I have zero interest in making contacts with anybody. My main use, my main interest in even using a radio is for when I'm off-roading. So I can talk to my off-roading friends in my off-roading group while we are actually outside in the outdoors and off-roading. And the vast, vast majority of those off-roading friends do not have a ham radio license. Now for a long time, I did think that ham radio was the only option available to me other than CB radio, which really was no longer cutting it. But then late one night, Xenu came to me in a NyQuil-fueled dream and shone a light upon me, and that light, my friend, was the light of GMRS. Which technically is pretty much like ham 70 centimeter. A GMRS radio is very, very similar to a ham 70 centimeter radio. GMRS can transmit up to 50 watts. On GMRS, I can use repeaters. There is no test for GMRS license. You just buy it. And 
Someone can just go to Walmart and get a $20 FRS radio and they don't even need a GMRS license. And then I can still talk to them and this is something that comes in very, very handy when I'm outdoors in the real world off-roading with large groups of people. So having a ham radio operator's license is not gonna help me talk to my friends while I'm off-roading in any way. And having a ham radio operator's license is not going to enhance my life in any way. Because again, if I wanna talk to strangers, I've got the internet and grinder. And while it is true that ham radio might, might give me more options and more ways to call out for help in the event of an emergency while I'm off-road, depending on where I am at the time of said emergency, but Xenu has taught me that in the event of a life or death emergency, when no other means of communication is available, I do not need a ham radio operator's license to call for help on a ham radio frequency. And besides, I carry this, an emergency satellite communicator. Now it is true that sometimes while laying on the couch eating Cheetos, I may have a sudden uncontrollable urge to talk to a friend 40 or 50 miles away. And if I am unable to reach my phone, I can very easily pick up my GMRS walkie talkie radio and call that person, assuming that person also has a walkie talkie GMRS radio, I can call that person through one of the very many GMRS repeaters in my area, even though just using my phone is actually a better option. So basically, in summary, the synopsis, the TLDR, if you will, is I do not want and I have no need for a ham radio operator's license, so please stop trying to recruit me into your club. I'm not interested.